Hi guys, welcome back to Into the Breach, and this weird desert island. Well, let's just do this one first. Defend the Rhinefield bombs. All right. All right. So do something like that. It's just so we can lose as fast as humanly possible. All right. All right. This seems simple enough. So I want to pull this guy back for sure. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do about this thing, but... I guess we'll see, won't we? What does this thing do? It makes all their damage things do less damage. Alright. Actually, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Maybe we should have done this. Then we can just repair ourselves with our next turn. Now, how do we deal with this guy? That was a pretty good way. Smoke blocking, really? Did not realize that was a thing. Well, I, I kind of knew that was a thing, but... It's no excuse. Alright. We kind of have issues here. What's the order? This guy goes first. So, here's what we're gonna do. Grab well. We kind of have to defend some things here, though. So, we're gonna have to deal with this guy, I think. We only- we don't do that much damage, though. We do do three damage, I think. Yeah, so we can deal with this guy. And this guy is just a matter of pushing him somewhere else. Which we may not actually be able to do. It just occurred to me. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, reset turn. That's what I meant to do. Alright. Because we can do something like this, actually. What would this guy be able to do, though, is the question. I can't really do much with him. Because he's unfortunately in a really bad position, no matter what. Uh, and we don't have the ability to throw him anymore, because we got rid of that. Uh, he seems to have found the perfect position to fuck me. Ah. Huh. I, I need to deal with this guy. I can only pull him one tile over. Why did he find, like, this perfect position? Yeah, no matter what, he's gonna deal damage to both, like... Like, everything aside, I, I, like, just imagine for a second, I'm in, like, this, this spot where I want to do nothing but protect that stuff, but... You know, there, there's nothing I can do to protect it. Because everything I have, d like, harms buildings. <laughs> the best thing I can do is hydraulic jump here. And then, and then damage this building. That's the only thing I can think of. So, same deal. This is the only thing I can think of. This, suck, this shit sucks, dude. Maybe should have just accepted two of them would die. At least I'd kill some of these things. Alright. Well, luckily, luckily he's not a problem now. Alright, let's have a look here. Uh, if I move these guys around... This guy is also harming that one. What options do I have to make them attack? Okay, you know what we have? We have a couple things here. We have a rail gun. So, we can just do that. 
And I am going to just hit this guy with this, except I'm going to have to move him around. I think... I don't know how I'm going to deal with that yet. Yeah. The other option I have is to pull this away somewhere, but I'm not sure where I can pull it, though. Because where do you take this that isn't dangerous, is the question. Honestly, these two guys are like the worst. They have they have the least options for me on the ta like on the table. Like flat out the worst ones. I like this guy's good, especially now that he has a laser, but th these two like every single time I, I seem to find myself in a position where they don't they just don't do what they need to. Because, yeah, this guy dealt with two of them on his own. Like, it's fine, but... I don't know. We gotta we gotta give these guys some neat things. Neat toys. So, what do we want? Do we want to get rid of the optional, or do we want to get rid of something else? So all I can do is move this guy forward, and then... Take one damage here. But he, he goes. These are sometimes the sacrifices that we must make. Also, I did not move him. When I should have. Alright. Alright, so one, victory one turn. So all we need to do is stop this guy, stop this guy, stop this guy. And that's three people we have, so... All pretty simple stuff. I mean, we could do most of this like without even doing anything. What happens if we just, like make him bash into this. Things just work out. Yeah, you get back here. I mean, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be killing him if I do anything else here. Fuck, there's like no reason to do any of this. Alright, whatever. This guy just stayed alive the entire time, that's fine. Because like I had a I had a problem first off when I didn't when they didn't do enough damage and now they have a problem of like they like two of their abilities are very much the same like it's just a position moving thing without a lot of damage so yeah all right let's just do the hard one why don't you defend the train all right here's where we hope and pray that I can get the railgun of my life. How much health does this guy have? How are we even supposed to do anything about this? What does this guy give? All their damage is reduced by one. On top of that. Is the train rest in pepperonis? Probably not, actually. Maybe. Looking very likely. Actually, no, it's fine. There, now the train's fine. <laughs> For one turn. There we go. Why do you guys hate the train so much? Alright, we need to really deal with this guy. Uh, here's the thing, I can laser this guy twice. He's not the issue. And here's the thing. I can't really deal with this stuff, but I can from over there. Alright, here's what I'm thinking of. We do this. And then we get this guy to pull it back, because we're going to move this back. So, okay, let's try this out. I think this will work out fine. No, because it's going to harm him. Actually, no, he's going to go into a smoke cloud. Who cares?
There. I still haven't been able to deal with the purple guy. But it looks like we're just not going to, honestly. Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just one turn, so... Quite honestly... We're done. <laughs> Fuck, we can even go one further, maybe. I don't know. Not really. Prepare yourself. Alright, good enough. Did we get any reactors for this? No. We just got crappy energy. Ah, oh, we got a reactor here. Uh, I don't know for that. Destroy two mountains, kill at least seven enemies, and protect the robotics lab. Alright, what do we get here as tools? Nothing. Alright, but still, it doesn't seem that hard. But, easier said than done, I guess. Alright, pod from your future. Alright. This thing's not a threat, fortunately. Huh. Alright. So easy thing to do would be to pull this guy in, or pu push this guy, uh, sorry, push this guy over there, so that's a simple thing to do. And this guy can actually make that happen. Easily, you can kill that and push this thing over. So that's that guy's done. This we need to kind of deal with. Uh, we also need to deal with this guy too. All right, so we need a we need a solution for this guy. And okay, we need a solution for this guy, and we need a solution for this guy. Not using this guy, so. This guy doesn't have any movement abilities here. Now here's the other thing. I could push this guy back here and then have this guy come over here. Like this guy's not gonna do anything. So maybe maybe that's actually a much better use of his abilities. Unfortunately, actually we need to deal with this now. Huh. I think the only thing we can do is this, but that doesn't even kill them all. Maybe jump and then jump. I can't reliably do anything about that. No matter what. I can jump together the rock, and that's it. Let's see the order that these go guys go in. This is a he does one damage, this guy does one damage. Uh, the problem is they also only do one damage. It's enough to kill my buildings, but not enough for me to do much else. So as I said, it's like, I have four things to worry about, and only three guys, so how do you do this? And I don't think there is a way, I think I'm just gonna take damage here, no matter what. That's what it appears like to me. Did I already reset my turn? I just haven't done anything yet. Alright, let's do the things like I wanted to do then. So, here's what I was gonna do, I was thinking of just jumping here, to get rid of the rock. Right. Now I was gonna jump over here to get rid of the other guy. But it's gonna get rid of the other thing as well. So we can't actually do that. I forgot that's gonna do damage to that place. He only has two two life, right? Yeah. So we're gonna have to jump here and then to this guy right here. Or railgun him, either one. Railgun wouldn't take damage, so let's do that. Alright. Let's just accept the fact that consequences are here. Now I would like to get rid of this guy because he's going to kill that pod. At least get the pod. Fuck. I don't think we have an option here actually. What do I like? Power or pods? <laughs> I, think I, like, I think I like that. Actually, you can just do this. No, it still fucking damages everything. Fuck this game, honestly. Fuck. Alright, this may have not been the best idea I've ever had. I really want that pod though. I want that pod so much that I'm actually going to do this. Oh, 
R and Jesus, help me now. Okay, fine. All right, we literally cannot take another hit. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. Now I don't think it's just good enough that we we actually have to kill these guys. I don't think it cuts it anymore, just doing this shit right now where we're like, oh, hey. Fuck this. Yeah. Whatever, he'll kill the mountain, it's fine. I hate this guy so much right here. I just want to get rid of him. He's so annoying, honestly. Alright. Alright, not so bad. We do need to get rid of this thing somehow. Here's the thing, if I move this guy away, can I get into position to, okay, you know what? No, we can't, no, can we do that? Yeah, we can, okay, I got, I got the play, I think. Remove the web. Come over here, do this. And we still win. <laughs> it's uh, gonna, gonna be kinda close, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so let's just focus entirely upon, you know, uh, saving buildings, so. Fuck. Uh-huh. <laughs> Start my life, guys. Alright. Maybe our next mission should be something with a lot of power rather than reputation. I didn't even destroy the two mountains, fuck. I was too I was too panicky in my bed. I have pod contents. Get to play a shield tank and give shields to allies. Alright, that's pretty good. Who can take that? Can you take that? Well, you can use it. Sid fires a projectile. It's kind of cool. Alright, that might be really nice, actually. That's really cool. Alright, let's uh, do something with energy in it, definitely. Lightning storm. Oh, that seems kind of cool. Alright, so that was light, uh, lightning will strike the four spaces every turn, killing any unit on the mark tiles. Alright. We kinda, we have this one. The Vec are gonna be sorry now, not as sorry as I am. Alright. So all we really have to do is make them go onto the tiles, like that. When does the lightning happen? One, okay. Uh, so we're gonna go... Actually, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna move you... Fuck. Okay, we're gonna move you here. Because we kind of don't have any energy. Wait, who who does who's gonna lose your turn? You are? Yeah, that's fine, just repair yourself. That's kinda cool.
Ah, uh, he actually went into it. The madman. Uh, I'm gonna just do more preventative things, I think. We're gonna just step on some of these. I don't think we have to do much else here. Uh, what happened? The lightning happens first, so we don't have to care about that. Alright. Neither of them can really do anything. Man, I hate this guy so much. Alright, well, luckily, we can start getting him to do our job for us, so that's nice. How do we deal with this one, though? This is the easy way of dealing with, with it. Alright. Uh, who still has a turn? This guy? I mean, what am I gonna do? Laser him? No. I'm not gonna do anything. That's kinda interesting, cause it, does that mean he can... He can, uh... He can repair twice? Maybe. Oh, one of these guys, are you joking? Remember, if anything takes damage... We're in trouble. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Whoops. Oh, no, no. No, no. Sorry, I, I accidentally pressed spacebar. Alright. Now, here's the thing. I can railgun these two. Sort of. Except that I really can't. I'm trying to think of the best action here. So, I don't know about this one yet. But it's probably going to have to be this guy that deals with this, honestly. All I really need is a position here to just deal with this guy. But I'm not sure. I can't really get into any good positions for this. But I can't get over there, but that will kill him. See, I can stomp over here to kill this guy, but actually, no, I can stomp over there to, to push him to the side, so that actually works out. Alright, so let's just go with... This guy's gonna go here, maybe over here. He's gonna rocket him to the side. Okay, this guy's gonna come over here. He's gonna move this thing out of the way. He is gonna come here and stomp here, and then he's gonna fucking stomp away again. So that's it. That should be it. Oh, but I took too much damage. Fuck. Well, there wasn't anything to, anything I could do about that necessarily. Oh, I mean, maybe it could have been a bit better. It's because that guy did like two fucking things all of a sudden. Alright. Did I miss like another objective? Well, it doesn't matter because I wouldn't have gotten it anyways. Yeah, whatever. What's in the pod? Better be something good. Oh, reactor core. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Um, who can use the one point? I guess you can make things allied immune. Yeah, whatever. Not a bad idea. Alright. Remember, he has one thing. We are gunners. We are gonna be gunners. All right. This guy's not attacking. Fortunately, I can't really do that. So here's the thing. I wanna pull this guy back this way to the side. Because then he doesn't do any damage. 
Uh, and I was hoping to pull this guy over the emergence thing. Problem is, this guy is doing a butt ton of damage, so... I'm going to have to rocket him, him out of there. Alright, I think I have the solution here. Get him out of the way. You laser this guy. Hopefully we can kind of just bait him into, like, attack our, our guys rather than the actual corporate tower and important stuff. No, it doesn't look like that's going to be reality. Alright. Alright, so... What, lo what turn do they go in? Alright, he goes first and does two damage. What, he really does two damage? Alright, that's not exactly what I was hoping for. Not gonna lie. Alright, so we do have some options here. Particularly stomping around. So, it's not over yet. Hmm, I wish I had that now. So, we gotta do a couple things. We gotta move... We gotta deal with this guy. How do we deal with this guy is a very good question. How do we deal with him? I would like to just be able to shoot him away from the threats. So here's the thing, okay. This guy can deal with these two. Right now I can tell you that, okay? He can deal with both of them. What has to happen here is that one of these guys will have to deal with moving him to the side and then he goes first. So as long as I can damage him slightly, it will work. Maybe the shield will be the clutch thing here, honestly. All right, there's two things I, I can think of that will work here. This guy could take one for the team, is the first thing. But I would like to see if I can make this shield this thing first. It fucking can. All right, actually, I just fucking realized that this guy didn't move. All right. Okay, so what this guy's gonna do is stomp this guy away, and then stomp this guy away, or just to death. Actually, wait, he just did four damage. I thought he did two damage. Did I misread this? Stab three tiles in a row, two damage. Does he do more damage farther away? I don't know, maybe I'm just being dumb. Who knows? When in doubt, just assume I'm being stupid. Alright. Um, the ideal scenario is to move this guy somewhere weird, but yeah. Let's move this guy back here. Alright. Fuck. Oh god, he can't even fucking come over here to shield it because he has no fucking range. Uh, Alright. Actually, we have two power grid things, so we technically have a little bit more to work with. But we are going to have to move this guy away. Just start using more of these things. That thing is really useful though. Oh cool, it resisted too, nice. Alright, only a couple more. That guy's not attacking, so we can just deal with him. Alright. Well, we only have to last for one more turn here. 
Unfortunately, for the most part, nothing is actually really a threat here. Yeah, let's fuck this guy in general, honestly. So that tank does not have a lot of range, as much as I like it. Um, it's one of those things I gotta use right from the get-go. Could be really clutch though, but the movement on him is ridiculous. Well, we did it. We actually survived. I have to make a lot of sacrifices in this place. Alright. Uh, we got the Sidewinder Fist punch an adjacent tile, damaging and pushing it to the left, alright. Uh, powerful artillery strike. Do we have this already? We have the equivalent of that. Very shot that applies smoke and pushes two adjacent tiles. And we don't even need that, so. Here's what I'm thinking. We get one reactor, and then we get three grid power, because we're so low. This seems way more useful than anything I wanted to do before. I would like to aim, aim towards some damage. But I do not know how to get that. I still do not know how to get that. <laughs> uh, maybe we should give him like another health or something. Give him some options or something, I don't know. Like, putting it into this guy would be good, because it like the plus one damage would be good, but... Yeah, we're gonna give it to him. Highly unfortunate, but, oh well, we recovered, so... Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next episode, so take care.